This thing's freaking dangerous, not only to the rider, but to the other people on the pathway as well. can't believe I'm saying this. This is an e-tricycle review. The Trivel E Azteca Fat Tire Tricycle review. The Trivel E Azteca Fat Tire Tricycle is sketchy, impractical, it's expensive, it's extremely hard to move around, but it's kind of awesome. Why is it sketchy? Going around corners at any kind of speed, the back tires tip off the ground all the time. And we're talking like on a paved corner, we're talking on grass. I got my 15 year old son to ride it for this review and he hit a bump twice in different instances and the front tire wiggles a little bit, throws the back tires off the ground, and this thing just goes over and he goes flying off. Young people aren't buying e-tricycles. E-tricycles are probably for people with mobility issues, the elderly, and these are the kind of people that if they get thrown from an e-tricycle at speed are going to be in deep shit. I'm not sure why this thing exists because for the other reason, it's expensive. $3,600. Who can afford a $3,600 e-tricycle? Personally, $3,600 for an e-trike that's going to hurt me doesn't make a lot of sense. So this review is for people who are considering it. Be careful on this thing. When they deliver this thing, one positive about the e Azteca is that it comes pre-assembled. I had to get it delivered to where I work. It was like a scene at a Jurassic Park. They pulled up in this big moving truck. Two men roll up the back door and there's this giant cardboard crate. Yay big. This thing is pre-assembled inside and they had to lower the cardboard crate down on their hydraulic lift device on the truck push it off. Luckily, they helped me unbox it, which by the way, if you're getting this delivered to your house, get ready to fill your recycling bin about five times. There was so much bloody cardboard. It took me an hour to cut up all the cardboard and dispose of it. It was crazy. But to assemble this thing, all you got to do is put the seat in, adjust this, adjust this to how you like it, charge the battery, and it's pretty much ready to go. This thing is fast. It goes easily 30 kilometers per hour. I inline skate at about 20 kilometers per hour and I was chasing my son and having a hard time keeping up with him and he's barely pedaling this thing. Plenty of speed. Plenty of adjustability. I'm six feet tall, 240 pounds, and this thing is more than capable of handling me. I will say it's comfortable. This basket is poorly designed though. For someone taller who's using it, it would have been really smart if they would have engineered this thing with the ability to slide the basket out further. Nice that it comes with a bell because you're gonna need it, because you're gonna be passing everybody. The other thing people probably wanna know about this thing, you are a spectacle. I'm ready for Heads are turning, people are whisk. what the hell is that thing? Look at this thing. This thing is a monstrosity and people can't believe it exists. If you don't own a garage and you need to transport this thing anywhere, I need to demonstrate to you what you're up against because it's quite something. This is how to remove the Trivel E Azteca Fat Tire Electric Tricycle from your home. Step one. Fuck me, man. Step one, fold down the handlebars. Step two, remove the seat. Next, tip it over on its side so it fits out the door. Shit. Fuck. Fucking Christ. <laughs> 